Uh, what's going on guys? We're back with another Skylanders Redo Review. And I'm redoing Ghost Roaster. So yeah, he's pretty cool, dude. Where's the light? It's brighter. Oh, that's right. I have my light on in my actual... Uh, there we go. My bad. Maybe that'll be better. Yeah, alright. So, being said, we're gonna go to. Oh, wait, I keep forgetting. I have to keep exiting out and going to the uh, other one, other save file, because I don't have every level in the, in the one I'm doing for the walkthroughs. So, we'll do this one. I'm going to do Lyric, I guess, again. Getting so many mixed reviews with it. I agree that Lyric Chaos really will just show how strong they are against the strongest enemies in the game. So to keep people happy, I guess I'll just keep switching it back and forth. But, um, yeah, here's Ghost Roaster, Undead Skylander, level 10. All 32 rogues just got complete today. Um, doesn't have a hat on, I like them without it. Powers. Chain Whip. Swing your chain whip tail at enemies. Skull charge. Transform into a ghostly skull that barrels through enemies. Pain chain. Chain whip attack do, uh, do increased damage. Metal head. The skull charge attack lasts longer. Ectoplasm mode. Hold Z on the weird mode to enter ectoplasm mode and be immune to all attacks but lose health over time. Haunt. Defeating an enemy with the chain wit turns them into a ghost that attacks other enemies. I love that ability. It truly is awesome. Now for the path I chose, this time I chose Fear Eater instead of Skull Master. So we've got Phase Shift Burst. All nearby enemies take damage when you enter Ectoplasm Mode. Kind of like Voodoo's Magic uh, Elementalist path. Ecto Friendly. I like that. Instead of Eco Friendly, it's Ecto. It's just clever. Uh, while in ectoplasm mode, you move faster and lose less health over time. This is the ability that will make this path so much more worth it. I really think this is the better path out of the two, at least for the Wii. And I'll explain my reasoning over time. So, keep going. Uh, nightmare Touch. Touching a ghost while in ectoplasm mode creates a powerful explosion. And then Soul Gem. Lingering Curse. Ghosts have a bigger attack range and knock enemies away. Require Soul Gem and Dark Light Crit, the level you receive him in. So that being said, let's try him out. Base attack. Notice I'm not doing anything. The ghosts are just going to town. And because of the Soul Gem, they're even stronger. Here's the Skull Path. I'm finding it's not as nerfed if you don't choose the actual Skull Mastery path, because the fact of the matter is, um, here's the Ectoplasm path, but, uh, the fact of the matter is with that, is, um, for some reason the Skull just can only attack once, and then it just flies around aimlessly, it's really, really annoying, and it's something they gotta fix for the new game, I gotta tell you right now. Unless it's how it was meant to be, then this is really stupid. Alright, so now we'll be able to pass these, no problem. And I watch this. First off, let's do this. Ectoplasm mode. Just explodes the ghost. It's really not the most amazing ability. My favorite, though, is this one. Because he goes a lot faster. And, um... You lose barely any health, and if you need health, you just absorb a ghost. It's that simple. Let's see if I can get them over here again so I can use the ghost. Nope. 
See, he also eats the ghost. See how I just gained some health there? We'll do it again. Now, I don't think he's immortal in the shell of like the skull head. I think you can get hit by it. Now watch this. We'll absorb the ghost and get some health. That's my favorite. It's useful for when you're in a pickle. When you're cornered in, all you have to do is just uh, get out of it like such. The exploding ghost bombs kind of blow, to be honest, but I just think overall it pays off to have the ectoplasm wave. It's a tough choice, all in all, to be honest. Like there's no amazing path I'm finding. It's just kind of which do you prefer better overall, I guess. See, I can at least fight all these knights now and not die because I can go right through their fa their bodies. That's kind of neat. Yeah, you do lose health. If you spam that too much, you will lose health. But, I'll say, I think I've said it before, or maybe I haven't, but I just think the undead are probably the weakest of all the elements. Probably some of the worst, I'd say. I just really don't like any of them, to be honest. Their, their attacks are just not that amazing. So yeah, that being said, that's his Fear Eater path. Either path really, uh, it seems kind of like a Chop Chop kind of vibe. There really isn't an amazing path. Maybe Skullmaster is better on... Another system besides the Wii? Maybe, I don't know. So yeah, that's what we're looking at. So hope everyone enjoyed, and see you later.